Hi friends, it is Mixed Media Monday and I'm Rita Barracat, your host. And I am super excited because tonight we are giving away some gelatos. Dun, 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 dun. And we're giving away some, um, what else? Some white pens. Faber-Castell now has a set of white pens um, in, with different nibs. And of course I forgot to bring them up here so I can't even show you them. But trust me, they are super, super duper awesome. So hi guys, as you guys are coming on. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. And hello to my replay viewers. So we are going to get started because I want to show you some fun things to do with your gelatos. And I want to make sure that we have enough time um, and also announce our giveaway winner because we had a blog hop with Faber-Castell and our design team did a fantastic job. I mean, seriously, they hit it out of the park. So even if you didn't have time to do the blog hop, you need to go check out all the projects because everybody did such a top-notch job and you're gonna wanna see what they did with all of their favorite cast or projects. So, um, hello, hello. I'm gonna pan down really quickly. As always, if you uh, watch the replay or if I miss one of your questions, just make sure to go ahead and pop it in there. I will go back through and try to answer them all. Hello, hello. Um, I know you guys are still popping on. So, but I'm gonna pan down so we can get started. Okay. All right. Ooh, it's like not wanting to, there it goes. It didn't wanna go down. Okay, so on my desk, I've got some, I've got this iridescent to set. There is a one and two. And these are super fun and I'll show you why in a minute. I've also got my Magical Mysteries embossing powder. And um, this one is the Kiss of the Fairy. We're gonna use this tonight. And it has, uh, like, I know it's probably hard to see in the video, but it has a pinkish um, orange tint to it. But what's really cool about it is that it glows in the dark. Yep, you heard right. It glows in the dark when um, when it's in the dark. So you just have to hit it with a UV light, you know, one of those fun, fun things. So that's another thing we have. We also have a little bit of Just So, and you know Just So is your friend. So we definitely want to use some of that. I've got some heavy watercolor paper. And I'm also grabbing this art foamies this is one of my new art foamies stamps and if she looks familiar to you the reason why is because she was actually one of the first um die cuts that i made for the veil of the fairies and i thought it would be really funny to show you just because i want you to see how big these art foamy stamps actually are because you can see you know in my hand how big it is right but a lot of you a lot of you have the Veil of the Fairies die cuts. Look at the size difference, you guys. I mean, that's a very, very nice size stamp. I mean, it really is, is just a beautiful stamp. Hello, hello. If I didn't say hi to you already, hello. Um, so it's a beautiful size stamp. It's nice and big. It still has all of the details that you have in the original die. So I'm gonna set that aside and we're gonna get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to gesso our paper. I've got a little bit of glitter going on here. You know, there's always a little bit of glitter everywhere in my room. So that's just normal. You know, I have to brush that off. Oh, I also wanted to um, remind me, I wanna show you guys the project from last week and how it came out. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little gesso on our page and you don't need a whole lot you just need a very thin layer on top now the reason why I like to do this especially with gelatos is because the gelatos they I want to use them dry and they blend a lot smoother once they're dry, um, when they're dry, if the gesso is underneath. Now, if you're gonna use it wet, it doesn't really matter. You know, I'm just gonna, I was looking for one of those hotel key cards 
but of course, you know, when you look for something, you can't find it. I've been in the process of cleaning, cleaning my um, studio, as you know. Oh, here's a card. Here's an old card. We'll use this. Okay, so here we go. Here's it. So a lot of my Art Foamy stamps I do have in my Etsy shop, and there are um, the newer ones I haven't gotten yet in my shop, but I do. They are online at artfoamies.com. Okay, so you can see, I mean, I seriously want a very thin layer. So much so that I'm I'm wiping a lot of this off. I don't need a whole lot, just so does it stop very quickly. So we're just gonna wipe that off. Because I want it to dry super fast too. Okay. So we're wiping that off. Let me toss that. Hello, hello. Okay, so let's hit this with the heat gun really quick. Because I need this to be dry. I don't want to get gesso. You don't want to get gesso on your art foamy stamps. You wouldn't want to get gesso on any of your stamps. Just because gesso does stain and it will stain your clothes too. So just be careful. Wear an apron when you're working with gesso or something that you don't care if it gets white paint on. tell when it's dry because it gets really chalky so whereas before it looked wet it has a very chalky look to it which is nice especially if you're doing bright vibrant colors because your colors are going to be truer now I do have some marks on there and that's because my palette knife was not very clean but you know whatever you know how I feel about that we're just going to roll with it on the show all right, so most of the time I do paint with my Art Foamies, but because I want to emboss, I want to use the Pink Fairy Powder, the Kiss of the Fairy, I'm going to use this gold pigment ink. And what's nice too is when you're using pigment ink, it takes a little bit longer for it to dry up so you don't have to worry about it, right? Because this is a very large stamp. I mean, I guess if I had a really big ink, ink pad, that would work. Okay. Yes, yeah, Margie, can you put up that, you can put the link up to the Art Foamy page. I have a page at Art Foamy's and it has all of my stamps, my stamp line on there. But if you're in the US and I have it in my shop, you probably want to get it from me just because Art Foamies is in Canada. Okay. So now we've got our stamped image. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to rip this off of here. And the reason why is because I'm going to want to put that powder. I'm going to wipe wipe that powder off okay so we're going to put this on here and I'm, I'm, I'm actually just gonna pour it over a little stick so I want to know because I'm I want to know what your who, what are your favorite lines of embossing ink if you could just put them in the comments, that would be awesome because I really want to, I'm in the market for some. I'm using so much and I, ne I never used so much before and so I'm actually out of my clear. So I've been using this gold, which is kind of cool because the gold kind of shows up underneath a little bit. So that's kind of fun. Right, so we're just adding another element to it. So don't feel like you have to be limited to what the color is, but I'd like to have like a white one or a clear one. 
Okay. Are you guys, is it blurry to you? Or is it just blurry to me? Let me know because I wanna try to fix it if I can. Okay, I'm gonna heat this and hopefully you guys will catch up with me. Okay, hopefully it'll be okay now. It was freaking out. What is cool is that we have our, our pinkish hue on there, but it still, it kind of has that little bit of, oops, I don't think I, I didn't heat it all the way over there. Let's get that corner. It has a little bit of that gold kind of hue to it. I mean, I'm just kind of going back and forth to see if you can see. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it has this iridescent kind of color to it, which is really, really fun. So now we're going to take our gelatos. I'm going to open this up. So in these packages, in this particular one, there are 15. When it says 15 pieces, that means we've got, we've got 14 gelatos and we've got a paintbrush in here. I'm not gonna be using the paintbrush today, but we're gonna go ahead and open this up. And these are really, really pretty. And so I thought it would be kind of fun to do, let's do some pink. Um, I don't know what colors, let's, ooh, this is pretty. Let's do this color. Uh, let's do this blue. Let's do this lavender. And I know you guys are going, she's really not going to pull the purple? Come on, you knew I was going to pull the purple. Okay, so let's try with these colors and let's see, let's see what we get. All right. So it dries pretty quickly. It, you know, as soon as it cools down, it's solid, which is really nice. I do have some crumbs there, so let me wipe that off. And we're just gonna go and color. Now I'm not going to, well, you know what, let's, no, no, I'm not gonna do it. I was gonna do, um, I'm not gonna actually fill it in. Ooh, I, I'm already liking this. It kind of has a pinkish purplish going on. So depending on when I go, it looks like when I'm going up, it's kind of a purplish mauve or whatever. And then when I'm going down, it's a really pink. So uh, that's pretty cool. Hello, hello. All right. So then we're going to go. So we're just going to add these colors on here. And let's do this one. It's so pretty. Oh, you guys, you have to see this in person because it's really cool. If you know what interference is, that's, looks like that's what's going on here. Um, and I think I'll take this one over here. So it's got pretty shimmery iridescent color. And we're going to go and fill the top. And I'm not, you can see the way I'm holding it up and down, but I'm not being super careful. 
It is what it is. Oh, the poor girl. She's going to have a pink face. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. That's awesome, Beverly. Yeah, I, I'm teaching a gelatos class right now in Houston. Well, not right now. Next month. Next month in Houston. And I'm looking for my sponges, which is what I wanted to show you. And, of course, I cannot find not even one Oh, I did. I found one sponge. Okay, so since I only have one sponge, <laughs> I'm just going to go from light to dark, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. I usually go from, um, I usually do one color, one sponge for each color just so they don't get all muddied up. Okay, you know what? I think I want to, if I really would have thought this through, I probably would have done this sponge everywhere and then just use the watercolor in the wings to make it different. That would have been kind of cool to see if there, you know, to see what the difference is. But even right now, even though I'm, I'm sorry, I'm rubbing this in, I'm seeing fun fun colors okay so we've got the lightest color oh yeah you need to get your gelatos out Danielle <laughs> get those babies out okay those art supplies are not going to do you guys any good sitting in a drawer or wherever you have them you've got to get them out and use them pretty that's pretty it's a pretty color it's kind of it's like a lavender but it has it's more of a it's more of a rose okay I'm going to this purple just because I can kind of use the same end and then I'll flip it the sponge over for the blues and now the areas that have just so they're spreading very nicely but I don't know if you can tell but when I'm rubbing over in this corner because I missed the corner it's a little bit harder to spread okay so I'm gonna flip this over just a sponge I'm just using a sponge okay so I'm gonna flip it over to the other side just because I'm not trying to mix the colors. I'm trying to still let them let them be seen for what they are. So if you're close to the Houston area, you will need to check out my classes because I will be there in August. This is so pretty, this color. And I am teaching four different classes, and one of them is a... Um, has gel actually a couple of them have gelatos in them of course they have paint techniques and and there are fairies and there are mermaids in them so lots of fun techniques in my classes everybody goes home knowing lots of different having lots of different ideas and techniques under their belts when they finish my class which is Awesome, because I love to give you guys the tools so that you guys will go use those products. Oh, it's kind of like she's wearing a mask. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. And so, can you see that um, you can still see her because the embossing powder is acting as a resist. And we're just blending some colors. It would be nice if I had more than one sponge. Which I do, just not right here. Alright. Whoops. I got my nail mixed up in there. That's no good. Okay. 
I like it. So she's got kind of this whole rainbow thing going on. You get the idea. Okay, so, you know, I'm not going to leave it like that. I just can't, but, you know, so we're going to do something else really quickly. I've got a paintbrush right here. And I think I'm just going to flick it a couple times. It's just water. Just water. And let's see what happens when we use a paper towel. Yeah, do you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can tell in the video. Oh, let's do this. Can you see, can you see the spots? I don't know if you can tell in the video. I hope you can. But it has nice little spots that's just kind of picked up the pigment. I think that looks pretty cool. <laughs> that's funny. You guys are on the same page. And I was thinking cool too. So that is pretty awesome. So these are the iridescent. And I know that you can't tell in the video, but... Um, they have that shiny iridescent color, but not everywhere. It's kind of cool because it's just like in some places and then in some places it looks regular. It just depends on, I guess, how you look at it because when I turn it this way, I can see the iridescent and it's the interference like just kind of on the top of this area, but this area looks more blue. So it's just kind of cool and kind of shiny and kind of fun. And we like shiny and fun and glittery and pretty and glow in the dark. <laughs> you can see the iridescent. Awesome. Awesome. Good, 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 good. Okay. So tonight, 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 where is my handy dean? Oh, I wanted to show you one more thing. So before I let you, before I announce the winner of our blog hop, I'm going to pull this aside. I wanted to show you the project from last week. So something that you might want to consider that I didn't consider when I was doing the video or doing the project. Do you see how fat it is on this end and how skinny it is on this end? <laughs> well, this is how it came out and it looks really cool when it's open, right? But when it's closed, it looks really odd. And it's probably because I, I put like, I ended up putting this big one because I wanted it to make it look like she was sitting down. So just something to consider, you know, when you're doing a project, if you know you're gonna fold it up and try to make it look all cute, like a little cute little package, you might want to consider where you place <laughs> these bigger items because you know, I'm so crazy. I'm just like, oh, yeah, let's just glue it on there. It's all good. It looks pretty. Um, yeah, until I tried to put it together because I was like, oh, I wanted to put it together and, and put this. I can't even close this in, you guys. I wanted to close it and put, like, a little rubber band around it and make it look really cute. Like, oh, you can hand this to somebody and it would be really cute. So if you're going to do that, you probably want to make it more flat with more flat items. I'm just, I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to put it out there. All right. So I didn't even do the back. I only did the color on the back just because um, I ended up adding um, some paste to it to get these bigger shells to stay on because I kind of felt like it still needed a little something, something. Um, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> Lesson learned, but that's how we learn, right? That's how we learn. So now you know. All right, so I can hear like little beads going everywhere because I put little those little beads on them. <laughs> I glued them on, you guys. Oh my goodness. Yes, just the minor details when you're trying to put a package together, but whatever. Okay, I'm looking. Oh, here it is. I was looking for my envelope. You know the envelope, the one, the only, the glitter envelope. The fabulous mixed media Monday winner envelope and I need a drum roll and nobody's up here I'm like by myself you know yeah you, you just can't always get good help I mean Margie if she was here she would be awesome and she'd be on that drum roll and I have a drummer and he's not here slacking off 
what can I tell you? <laughs> but that's okay because we have the envelope and it has a winner in here. And I hope it's you. So let's take a look. I need to decorate like the back of it because the back of it's kind of ugly. But, oh, and I have this super fancy paper from one of our other projects that we did. Oh, all right. Dun, 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 dun. Thanks, April. <laughs> oh, Danielle beatbox for us. And the winner is, and I know it's going to be backwards to you, Lori M. So Lori, Lori M, you know who you are. Um, she didn't have a last name on my site. So you will have to contact me and give me all your contact information so I can pass it along to Faber-Castell and they will send you your prize package. Um, and as for those of you who did not hop with us, you need to go check it out because it's awesome. Seriously, so, so fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Mixed Media Monday and you will share it with your creative friends and you will uh, join me next week at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, just like every week. Um, we have some exciting things coming up, so even if you didn't win this time, there's always a chance for some other kind of giveaway. You know how, you know how I do. I like to give things away. And be looking out for the email because if you're on the newsletter, look out for that email because I'm gonna be sending out a questionnaire and for every person that fills it out, um, yeah, I'm gonna be sending them something. So you wanna keep an eye out for it. Okay. All right, guys. Mixed Media Monday. I'm Rita Barricat. Thanks, you guys, so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.